Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dapp University. So in this video, I'm talking about Amazon getting into blockchain. Yeah, that's Amazon.com getting into blockchain technology. So I'm gonna tell you how they're getting into blockchain technology and also what that means just for the technology in general. So before we do that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. So I put out a tweet yesterday that said, you know, it looks like Amazon's getting into Ethereum. And that's because they just announced at Amazon reInvent that they're rolling out a suite of tools for building blockchain technology. So I'm gonna go over what those are here in a second, but let me just pause and reiterate what a big deal this is. You know, if you've watched my other videos on my channel, you might've seen I put out a video that talked about Google getting into Ethereum and Microsoft getting into Ethereum. And now we have Amazon, you know, like amazon.com getting into Ethereum and getting into blockchain technology in general. So if you wanna know more about how Amazon's using blockchain, you can actually go look at uh, the reInvent keynote I've got, you know, up here on the screen in this video. You can probably check that out in the video description below. I'll try to throw a link to that video in there if I remember. Um, but yeah, you can watch the whole, you know, it's like an hour long keynote about, you know, why Amazon wants to get into blockchain and how they're doing it. So here's, let me give you a recap of what they're actually rolling out. Amazon's getting into blockchain with Amazon Web Services or AWS. And if you're a software developer and you've you know built anything with the internet before, you've probably either heard of AWS or used it in some capacity. It runs a lot of the internet from databases to servers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so two new AWS services are coming out. The first is managed blockchain. This is something that Amazon's putting out. You can actually check out this article here put out by Amazon that talks about this, but I'll give you some of the highlights and kind of explain what it is. The second is uh, Amazon's quantum ledger database. So I'm gonna go over both of those things, the managed blockchain service and Amazon quantum ledger and what they are and what they do. So managed blockchain is basically Amazon's version of, you know, blockchain as a service where you can roll out a blockchain with a few clicks and do it in a scalable way and, you know, manage certificates, uh, permissions, invite members to the network. And this is a way for you to create, you know, blockchain infrastructure that can, you know, handle thousands of applications um, that will scale and run millions of transactions. That's really what its purpose is. That's what it's for. And Amazon has, you know, kind of been opinionated about this. They've dialogued with customers to say, you know, what do you want blockchain for? You know, what are your use cases? What are your pain points? What are you trying to solve? And they feel like they've answered, they feel like they've pre presented a technical answer for their uh, customers. And it's really interesting to see what kind of technologies they're supporting and what they're going to pick. Well, guess what they are? The first one is Hyperledger Fabric, and the second one is Ethereum. Now, Hyperledger Fabric is available now. They just launched it and released this. Um, and the second one is Ethereum, which they're planning to support in two months. So that's a huge deal uh, about the technologies that Amazon picked. So it's actually a huge indicator of you know, what's working <laughs> and what people plan to support. So the big benefits of this are that it you know, removes the friction of starting a blockchain network. And it does like what I said a minute ago. It basically you know, manages a lot of things for you that you don't have to write custom code for. You can just point and click and set everything and configure it in you know, an AWS fashion. And another big feature of this is that it plugs into a second Amazon service that they're rolling out, which I mentioned earlier, which is Amazon's Quantum Ledger Database. Let me explain what that is. It's not a blockchain, but it's still a cryptographic ledger that offers you a lot of the same benefits that a blockchain does. So basically, if you're plugging in Quantum Ledger Database into the managed blockchain service, you're able to just get a record of everything from the managed blockchain service and put it into Quantum Ledger Database. So you're going to be able to have a running log or transaction history that's immutable. It can't be changed, and it's cryptographically secured, a lot like a blockchain. Basically, it's going to allow you to have append-only features, so it's like a journal of history where you can only add to it. You can't go back and change anything in the history. You can only add new things. And all these changes are cryptographically chained together and verifiable, a lot like a blockchain. So the benefits to this, you know, for these, you know, enterprise level use cases are transparency, uh, ability to like scale up and down as you need to. The, it's a lot easier to use and it's fast. 
So that's why they created this kind of thing. And it's, it's like I said, it's not a blockchain. It's a, it's a new piece of technology that serves a specific niche use case that plugs straight into their managed blockchain service which they've just rolled out. And now the two big benefits of this service are that it gives you like a, a SQL-like query interface that you can interact with your blockchain. And it also is just a serverless technology. You know, you don't have to run any servers, you don't have to configure or manage anything, and you only have to pay for what you actually use when you're using the service, just like a lot of other AWS models. So that's an overview of, you know, Amazon rolling out these two new blockchain services. I hope you all found this interesting. Like I said, this is a huge deal that Amazon is now in the game, along with Google and Microsoft. These big companies are taking advantage of blockchain technology. They know it's a big deal. They're trying to get in early and build infrastructure. So I hope you all like this video. Click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps them get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.